Okay, so I'm now in the taxi. I'm gonna go to Grand Hyatt for our meetup for the junket. It's our party bus. <laughs> Just kidding, this is our junket bus. <laughs> saw the first three episodes and it was so fun. The mall, the colors, you in the Madonna outfit, and all the um, self-discovery of Elle. This season is much different from the past. What can you share to your fans about season three? It's obviously much darker, but much more light-hearted. It's, it's such an interesting balance because on season one, it was kind of like just all very dark. There was no mm. real light to yes. it. But then season two, it got a little lighter. But season three is just pure fun. Okay. It's pure teenage colors and music. And it's just a really beautiful, I don't know, storyline. So I don't know. I really like season three, but it's also a lot darker. And things are going on that you wouldn't think of that are going on. So, um, yeah, I can tell you that. But we really, I want to ship Mike and Elle. <laughs> you can. There's, there's a lot of those kissing scenes. And I was just like, <laughs> oh, my God. How was that like? When you've been kissing someone for the last three years of your life, it just becomes, it comes natural. I don't know, it doesn't feel like, you know, okay, we're gonna kiss now. It's kind of like, well, we've been doing it for so long anyway. But yeah, I don't, it's not really that crazy. I mean, you know, it's, that's our jobs. That's what we're meant to do. You know, mm. it's on a script, it's on a piece of paper. That's what we do. Um, we don't really question it. I mean, we're, you know, it's like, he's like one of my best friends. So it's yeah. like, not like it's weird. It's not like I'm kissing someone that I don't know. Um, but it's definitely an evolution for Mike at 11 and stuff mm. growing up. I'm excited to see the entire season because we just got C3. Um, is it true I read somewhere that before Stranger Things you actually auditioned for Game of Thrones? That is true, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And I was actually here um, two weeks ago mm -hmm. with a director, Michael DeHerty and Ken mm -hmm. Watanabe. Yes. You're so beautiful in the Beijing premiere. Of Thank you. How is it like doing that film? Oh, amazing. It's wonderful. I, I, I love that all that cast and, and the movie in itself. I just watched it two weeks ago. It's so beautiful. It's so amazing. So I'm so lucky to be on such amazing projects with such great people. And July 4, we're going to be seeing the next season. I know. And um, the soundtrack is also so amazing. I'm an 80s, I was born in the 80s. Oh. I've never lived in the 80s, but then because of the series, I can actually, you know, feel the vibe. Like what you missed. Yes, yeah. exactly. Is that how you feel as well? I feel like I'm living in the 80s when I'm on set, so I don't think I'm yeah. missing out on anything. I, I deal with it. I'm always like talking about what new things evolved in the 80s. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I think that uh, it's just definitely a new time. It's, it mm -hmm. was a new, like, yeah, a new time, a new decade of, of just pure fun and craziness and hairstyles and clothes. So I think that, yeah, that was definitely a fun, cool part. I know this is asked a lot from you, but if you were, um, if you had any superpowers in real life, what would that be? I mean, obviously, I think healing is such a, a powerful, mm -hmm. you know, superpower you could have because, you know, just physically, emotionally, mm -hmm. however, you, you know, healing is so important for the yes. world in itself because then maybe we can start loving each other more and stop spreading so it's much true. hate. World peace. Yeah. <laughs> what would your message be to your Filipino fans? I hope to see you again soon. Um, the last time I, I went there, it was amazing, mm -hmm. and so I'm definitely hoping to go there soon. You're very outspoken, you have a lot of advocacies, and you're very much into your fans online. You engage with them a lot, but you're also outspoken in terms of bullying and cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. What's your stand on that? You know, right now, the world is focusing so much on hate and negativity and spreading it among other celebrities or fans. Mm -hmm. or I think it's just so difficult to have a social media platform for so many different reasons you know yeah. social media is a great platform mm -hmm. to hate on people it's it, it's very easy you know for that message to be spread mm -hmm. but the reason social media was born created was to spread love and kindness to one another and i think it's so important for us to to realize that bullying is a real thing yes. and as much as i say spread love that's not going to do it you know people don't actually lis like listen so we have to take into to account that there are people that are genuinely going through something and they would love, to, or you know, bullying is what they do. Mm -hmm. So cyberbullying is a real thing. It's mentally um, torturing people yes. and especially young adults that are 
you know, growing up and they, they listen to that over and over and that's what they think they are. And I think it's just so important to remember and to, you know, keep your kids safe on social mm -hmm. media mm -hmm. and to, um, to guide, guide them, yeah, guide yeah. them in, into the right, into the right space. I think that, um, just to keep, to keep note of what your children are doing on social media. And, you know, my parents definitely do that for me. Same as mine. <laughs> yeah, they protect me and what I do. And mm -hmm. so I think it's just, I think that's really important. And you're a role model to a lot of people, young yeah. and young at heart. Yes. <laughs> and education is very important for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, education is very important, especially in, um, you know, just different places. You know, uh, young girls don't get the education that they deserve. And actually young girls um, are, you know, it's, it's so important for girls to fulfill their dreams as well as boys. Yes. And um, luckily, I, you know, I can take a stand on that. Michelle Obama is one of my all-time inspirations, and she's, uh, she advocates for, for girls' education. That's what I feel extremely passionate about. Mm -hmm. And I think every, everyone, every young adult deserves the education that they, they need. But um, you know, in some specific places, young girls deserve it too. What is, for my last question, what is your must-have in your bag every single day? Oh, um, <laughs> I would say my essential oils just because, like, Same. yeah, because I get really stressed out sometimes or anxious or, you know, I need to chill out. So that would probably be, you know, I have my essential oils. Put it there and here and, and all here. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was really lovely to meet you, you. and all the best. Thank you very much. Good luck with Stranger Things. Thank you. Thank you. Walking around Rapongi, and there are a lot of really nice stuff, nice shops, nice installations, a lot of museums like the Mori Art Museum is here, and just a really nice place to stroll and explore. Oh my gulai, this is so cute! <laughs> We're in Ginza and they closed the street. We are in the busiest place in Tokyo, the Shinjuku. I love this place because when you go around, you can see Godzilla's head there. <laughs> this is where all the tourists Including myself. I've been here a couple of times, but I always feel like And I love the energy, the colors, all the street lights. We're in Tokyo for another memorable trip. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss an episode and leave a comment below. Share this video with a friend and remember, it's a great life. It's a Greta life.